Brian in Atlanta Hot Tub Center. And today I want to talk about a hot topic. I want to talk about chemicals, all right? And today I'm just going to give you some helpful hints, right? I'm going to give you some cheats because I want to make it easy on you to enjoy it and easy on, easy on you to maintain it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with green, the color green. If your water has a green tint to it, has a little bit of a smell you don't like, you're low on sanitizer. You need to add salt, chlorine, or bromine, depending on what you're using, all right? If the water has a white cloud, okay, then it's low on shock oxidizer. You need to add shock oxidizer to your hot tub. If your water is yellow, you have a pH problem. Now, these are just yellow tints, right? So it's not going to jump out and be bright yellow, right? But, but again, if you see a little yellow tint, you got a pH problem. You need to get a test strip and adjust your pH levels, okay? Now, let's talk about the two most important things for you in your hot tub, okay? One. Chlorine or bromine or salt or whatever sanitizer you are using is important for you and your family, okay? Because that's what's killing harmful bacteria, right? It's the, it's the chlorine. Salt is sodium chloride. Really, it turns into natural chlorine. That's what it's turning into. It is, it is chlorine. And ultimately, chlorine does kill harmful bacteria. It makes it safe for you and your family to use it. Now, for the integrity of the hot tub, right, for your hot tub to last throughout the years, okay uh, you have to maintain your pH levels when your water is acidic and your pH levels are off the water is corrosive it will break down glue joints it will tear up jets it will it will create leaks and problems and sooner or later basically deteriorate the hot tub okay so this is Brian in Atlanta hot tub center some great shortcuts on how to maintain and take care of your hot tub thank you